Hey everybody, good to see you guys again. I know it's been a while since I did a pre-recorded video, um, but I wanted to do something for all of my amazing clients out there today. Um, this is gonna be all about brows. So I'm not gonna be filling in my eyebrows or doing a special makeup look today, um, but instead I wanted to show you how you can color your own brows at home. So this applies to people who have their brows microbladed and for people who don't have their eyebrows microbladed. Um, if you have had your brows microbladed by me, this is a really great way um, to keep your eyebrows looking fresh um, and to um, kind of amp up the pigment a little bit. The main reason is because if your brow hairs are really, really light blonde, white or they're coming in kind of transparent. For me, I just turned 40. Um, I have nothing on my brows right now, but I'll see if I can get close enough. If you guys can see, my eyebrow hairs are super, super light. So I like to go through and color them about once a month to once every other month. Um, and I have figured out a really easy way to do this at home where I can get some great results. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is the product that I use. This is um, professional salon quality product. Um, the gal that I was going to before to do my brows, I went to her for about five years. Um, this is the product that she uses in her studio. So I just went on eBay and I was able to get it. I'll show you everything that comes with it. So this is the Intensive Eye Pearl uh, Brow and Lash Tint. So that's the color. And then along with it, you get your cream developer. You get this little mixing cup and then you get your mixing wand. And I think I paid about $19.95 for all of this. So those are the actual products that I'm gonna to use to tint my brows. I use the color Middle Brown for mine. It's a nice warm brown and I do have a lot of natural red in my hair so it comes out perfect. But they do have a lot of different colors too for you guys to choose from. The other thing that I use is Witch Hazel. I'm gonna use this to clean my eyebrows and the area around my brows. You wanna make sure to have lots of little cotton rounds to clean up the area with. This is the brush that I use to apply it with. This is just a cheap um, angle brush from Real Techniques, but this works really well. And then, of course, I have my spoolie, some Q-tips, um, and then I'm gonna go through and just kind of clean up my brows. So I have my tweezers and my brow scissors. So the first thing we wanna do, I did put foundation on today. So I'm gonna clean the entire brow area to make sure that it's really, really clean and free of makeup so that the pigment and the dye will actually get through to the skin because it will color the skin a little bit too, so you wanna be a little bit cautious of that, that you don't get like crazy brows and have brow color all over your skin. But it makes such a difference. I didn't even think about coloring my brows because I had them microbladed, but then when I saw how white they were coming in, it just really kind of made my eyebrows look dull so I colored them and they looked incredible again. So now I do this once a month and then I don't have to do anything with my eyebrows on a daily basis, so it's really great. So now that my brow is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I basically do like equal portions of both. So I'm just gonna put like the amount of a pea size in my jar of the colorant and about the same amount of my cream developer. You wanna make sure you shake it up really good because it tends to separate a little bit. Okay, so we'll mix, I put about six drops and then we're just gonna mix it up and it should be pretty thick because you want it to stay in place. And then you want to let it sit for about one minute before you start applying it. 
And I always like to keep my work area super clean. That's why I always use a ton of the cotton rounds because I can't stand it when things start to get messy. Okay. So I've got to use my magnifying mirror so I can actually see it. I'm going to make sure none of my hair is in the way. So I'm going to dip my little brush into my colorant. And this is about how much I put on the brush. And then really, really carefully... I'm making sure that it only gets where the color of my brows are. And the thing that makes this so much easier when you have your brows microbladed is there's no guesswork as to where to put the colorant because your grid is already there for you. So if you do have your brows microbladed, this will be that much easier for you guys to get perfect colored brows. This is where it really counts, is right in here. So I always just kind of draw a straight line across and I really pack it on there because I want to make sure that all of those little hairs, can you guys see? Look at how much darker it is already. It's crazy. I want to make sure that you guys can see where I'm putting it, but you want to make sure, and I kind of like brush the little hairs down just to make sure that everything is covered the way that I want it to be so that I don't have to go back through and redo it. And like I say, it will color the skin. So make sure that your line is nice and even all the way across. Got to fix the arch a little bit too. I've actually been coloring brows for quite a while. My mom calls upon my services like once a month and I go over and do her eyebrows. Gotta make sure my mama's staying on top of everything. Okay, so you can see like how thick I put it on. And then as soon as I'm done with this one, I'll go back through and clean things up a little bit. So the first go around, I just basically get the formula on my brow and then I really start perfecting it here as I go. But literally, ladies, this takes from start to finish, you're gonna see, and I'm not gonna make you sit through the processing time, but it takes about 15 minutes from start to finish to dye your eyebrows. And again, it makes the biggest difference. And depending on like what you wash your face with, how often you exfoliate, things like that will determine how long the pigment actually lasts. But for me, I don't scrub my brow area and to take my makeup off, I just use coconut oil. So I can do this today and I won't have to go through and do this again for about another 30 days, but it will come off of the skin within a week. So that's where microblading is really awesome. Because if you have bare spots, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, so I need to go clean up because I did get a little bit of color outside of where I want it. So I'm gonna use the same brush, I just cleaned it off a little bit, and I'm gonna go through and just clean up my lines so it's perfect. Okay. And I'll do it underneath because I got a little bit Too low. Look at how dark this one is getting. I totally look like Groucho Marx now. Scary. But I won't, I promise. There we go. That's looking a little more like my eyebrow.
Whoa. I got a little thick on this one. Better. It's getting there. Because again, it does color the skin underneath. So you want to be a little cautious. And that's why the tools that you use is super important. Okay, so I got my color on. It looks really funny right now, but I promise you it won't. I will be back in 10 minutes and you can see the finished product. Okay, I'm back. And this is really awful looking, right? So the first thing that you have to do as soon as this sets, and again, I think I, it wasn't quite 10 minutes. It was more like seven or eight minutes is get your cotton round damp with your witch hazel and then you're just going to wipe it off. You wanna make sure it all comes off because it does kind of dry on there. And I, I don't wanna scrub too much because it's just kind of like when you get your hair done, you get your hair colored at the salon, you don't really wanna wash it for a while first. You want to let that pigment really set in. So let me comb those babies out a little bit. But you can see the beautiful color that was left behind. So we went from this to this. Not too bad. So let's do the other side and then I'll show you guys how to just really quickly shape your brows and get them trimmed and plucked because again since my brows are microbladed that's all i do to my brows is i just stick to the original shape that i made with my microblading and then i color them once every month or so and then that's like it so this is my colored eyebrow. And now that my hairs are the same color as my microblading, they actually stand out. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm just gonna go right below where the line is. I don't have very much because I did this honestly just a few days ago. But you wanna keep your brows really, really clean and groomed. Obviously, with what I do, I am big about keeping my brows groomed. Don't forget to go on the top either. So many people forget that they need to keep the top in really good shape too, and they only do the bottom. You don't really have that much going on over here. Okay. So then the other way that I'm going to clean up my brows is I'm going to take a little bit of my Perfecting Concealer from Unique, and I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny bit with my paddle brush. This is just a really small one, and this just really helps to keep your brows looking nice and neat. So I'm going to follow the line right underneath. I know most of you have probably seen this a hundred times. But I do this every day, even when I'm not wearing makeup, just to make my brows look that much better. And I'm just applying a little bit of concealer right underneath my brow line. I'm going to do it on the bottom, and then I'm going to do it on the top, especially since I did get a little bit of color just on the skin and I want it to look nice and neat so that I can really show off the shape that I have. I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit and then go back and comb. And then when you get to the arch, make sure and comb those hairs down so that it makes a nice tight point on your tail. We'll do the same thing on the other side. See, so it takes literally 15 minutes from the time you mix up your pigment color for processing and then going through and just cleaning up the brow area. 
It's super, super fast and it's so worth it. Sundays for me, Sundays are always like my mate. I call them my maintenance days. My girlfriends laugh at me that I actually have a maintenance day, but I do. Okay, let me get my little spoolie out again. And there are my newly revised and refreshed eyebrows. So let me know what the next video should be all about, whether it's brows, a new fall look, an eye look, your foundation routine, your skincare routine, whatever it is that you've been wanting to know about, just drop message me and I will make that video for you guys for next week. But I hope you picked up some really great tips and tricks on how to do your own brows at home.